All right, well, Delta Airline pilots may be on the verge of a strike. Nearly 15,000 Delta pilots have voted to authorize a walkout if negotiators cannot agree on a new contract. The Airline Pilots Association announced the vote on Monday, but Delta Airlines has expressed confidence that an agreement will soon be reached. The airline also said that the strike authorization would not affect its flight operations. We'll find out if oh. that is true by uh, talking to our own CBS News correspondent, Chris Van Cleve. So, Chris, uh, let's just start off. What are the issues that right now are hampering the agreement and potentially leading to this strike? Well, if there are disagreements over uh, money, over scheduling, over benefits, the pilots uh, have been working under a contract that dates to 2016. Uh, they feel uh, they pause negotiations during the pandemic. They feel that as the, the airline has returned to profitability, as this demand for travel has surged, that it's time uh, for them to, to get a new contract. What they would like to see is an industry-leading a contract. You hear that uh, a lot in these sort of negotiations. Uh, what's particularly uh, of note here is 96% of Delta pilots voted. And of that 96% of the 15,000 or so Delta pilots, 99% voted to authorize uh, this strike move. So that's a, a huge message to Delta management that the pilots are united and that they are unhappy with the pace of these negotiations. It does not mean a strike is imminent, and it is accurate in what Delta said, that, that this vote in and of itself will not impact Delta operations. Pretty remarkable footage uh, as you're talking there, Chris, just seeing all these uh, pilots in their pilot outfits with the wings and everything and the tie uh, walking uh, on strike apparently already. Um, uh, that might have been file footage. I'm not sure. but it, I think it, it was threatening to strike because it said well, we're ready to strike. There. We're showing B-roll yeah. of pilots on strike. So something, I mean, there must, yeah. there must so, be file footage. Yeah. So, Tony, that, that was a, they, they did a series of informational pickets uh, throughout the summer and into the early fall where they would, pilots on their days off, would show up at Delta Hubs. Uh, and essentially walk the line with these signs calling for a new contract. Um, and the pilots have been very frustrated about scheduling issues. Um, you know, that the airlines, when the, as the summer travel season came back and demand was so high, the airlines kind of baked in that everyone would work their maximum number of hours, everyone would pick up overtime shifts. Uh, and if you were a pilot, you didn't necessarily want to do that. And that makes um, that, that, that puts a stress on them, obviously. So the, the pickets, the video you were seeing, they were holding signs that say, ready to strike. Got it. This message, uh, this vote here, this authorization to strike um, is significant because of the number of pilots you saw do it. Uh, just today, United Pilots rejected a uh, tentative agreement on a new contract, saying that that deal wasn't good enough. So you have... Uh, Several of the major airlines are negotiating with their pilots, and they're each watching each other because every every union wants the best deal for their uh, bargaining core. Um, so this is it is true what Delta said that this was a, a move a, a move to try to gain some leverage in the negotiations. But it's also a very clear message to Delta management that the pilots want a new deal and they're not happy with the pace that things are going. So uh, a strike is a, a pretty extreme step. You do that to put maximum leverage on your uh, on the on the other side of the negotiating table. But you've got Delta saying that a strike will not affect flight operations. How can that be so? Is that is that them? Is that a bluff? Are they? Is that true? Well, a strike would absolutely impact Delta flight operations. The strike vote will not. Um, you know, a strike is not imminent today as we sit here speaking. There are several steps that would have to happen uh, before you could see Delta pilots walk off the job or uh, Delta be able to lock their pilots out if they, for some reason, wanted to ground their own airline. Um, Basically, from here, they could reach a point where one of the two sides feels that they're, they're at an impasse and can ask the, the National uh, Mediation Board to step in. The board would then have to determine that there's no more room for arbitration, there'd be no benefit, and then you'd enter a 30-day cooling-off period. So it is, not, it is not likely that we see a strike here in the next um, days, weeks perhaps even months, hmm. uh, Delta pilots say they don't want to strike. The airline certainly doesn't want their pilots to strike because you don't have any pilots, you're not going to fly. Um, hmm. But this is the first step that would enable you to go down the road of striking. We haven't seen a pilot strike in the U.S. Uh, in years and years and years for a reason, uh, that the airlines and, and the labor groups just you know, don't, don't seem to get to that point, and it would, it would cripple uh, an airline. Uh, and, and 
not just one airline. You know, there, there's not enough open seats in the system to absorb uh, one of the big three carriers yeah. uh, having a work stoppage. So, so it, sounds, wow. it sounds like this is like incentive. an early warning, uh, almost, uh, yeah. that the storm is potentially brewing. Um, and as you say, Chris, there's every incentive for them to come to a deal, the pilot saying that they don't want to strike, Delta saying, don't worry, just yet. Given that this is happening right before Thanksgiving, right before the holiday travel season, how much is timing a uh, negotiation strategy? Oh, timing's a big part of it. Yeah. I mean, they, the Delta pilots want us talking about this right now. Um, holiday travel is on, starting to get on everyone's mind. And if you're the pilots, you want to remind the public that, uh, you know, that there, there's a, a situation here that they, uh, that, that there are, uh, while the airlines uh, are, are being, you know, our, our flights are full and demand is high, uh, that, that there are these lingering labor issues. You know, pilots also make a very good living. Let's, let's, let's be clear here. These are, these are folks that are making well into the six figures, particularly if you're a captain at Delta Airlines. So uh, they feel like they, they deserve a, a better contract, and there, there are certainly merits uh, in their argument. Uh, if you're Delta, you, you also have to protect your bottom line, and that's, that's sort of where they are in the negotiations. They've drug on for years, uh, interrupted by COVID. Uh, of course. And, uh, you know, you also have each of the airline pilot unions sort of jockeying uh, with each other, because once one of the big carriers comes to a deal that's approved, it sets the benchmark for everybody else. And if you're an airline, you're also worry worrying about your costs. You know, you want your employees to be happy. And, uh, you know, these, these are well-compensated folks. But as you raise your labor costs, fuel costs are, are considerably higher than they were a year ago. And you have an economy that is slowing, typically. Uh, if the U.S. were to go into recession, that's not great news for the airline business. So, uh, you know, th there's a lot of factors here that make this a, a complicated dance, um, but it is a dance that the pilots at Delta feel like has gone on too long. Wow. It's a complicated, high-stakes situation. But uh, to quote Jerry Seinfeld out here in the public, I just really show up where it says on the ticket. That's what I want at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> just, I don't care how you get there. I hope it works out, though. Uh, Chris, you're just absolutely peerless uh, uh, as a reporter on, on these issues, so thank you very much. Thank you, Tony. We'll get you where you need to go, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> <Great>. <laughs>